Thank you, Nicole. We're here again in a wonderful garden full of flowers, colours and bird life. Behind me I have chicken gizzards, also known as bloodleaf. A great plant to make a statement, but there's more to a garden than just outdoor plants. There's the indoor plants, and we're going to go inside right now to have a look at the benefits of indoor plants. Come join me. Here we are indoors, surrounded by indoor plants. Throughout the 70s we used these to help us, then it seemed to have gone out of fashion. It's back in fashion. Even in NASA they've realised the benefits. What NASA found was that the plants have the ability to remove volatile organic compounds, sometimes called VOX. Now with buildings and including the house, all structural elements release chemicals. And these plants, what we have at home, will remove these toxic chemicals. There's a whole range of plants we can choose from and probably the spathophyllum here on my right is probably one of the best ones that we can use. It's very easy to grow and if it is stressed, it shows you what's wrong with it. But there's also spider lilies, there's sansevierias. The list is almost endless. As much as the plants outside, there's many plants we can bring inside. With these indoor plants, they're pretty easy to look after. The main thing to be aware of is that they are prone to just a few minor pests, merely bug being the worst, and possibly also aphids. Of course, watering is critical. And if you do see a few brown tips, it means you have to increase the watering, or in some cases, reduce the waterings. Just look at the plants. They will tell you what they need. Oh, and by the way, indoor plants are excellent for the home office as well.